Welcome back to Brightside on 10 Tampa Bay. We are your hurricane headquarters and this morning we're getting a look at our first forecast for the 2023 hurricane season, which is rapidly approaching. Yeah, we've been waiting on this. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskin joins us now and Bobby, there's good news and of course bad news. In yep, this. yep. Season starts June 1st. The first forecast for the season has come out from Colorado State University. 14 named storms is what we see on average now. 13 is what they're expecting. So the good news is a slightly lower than average storm in season. In fact, hurricane six, uh, those becoming cat three or higher, only two, which would be really good news. However, it's just a forecast. Now, the reasoning behind that is that we expect El Nino to develop. And when you get El Nino, you get more wind shear. You see all this here, that is a lot of wind shear. And it's really hard for storms to form in that. So during the summertime, we tend to have less wind shear here. But when we have El Nino years, we get more wind shear. There's El Nino developing that warmer water there, but look what's already happening. We've got warmer than average water almost the entire Atlantic Basin, including the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. That is fuel for the fire. And so ordinarily with El Nino coming on like this, we would have even less amount of storms, but because that water is so warm, they can't lower those numbers all that much because it doesn't take much to get a storm going. Now look, it only takes one. These forecasts, we show them to you, but it's just a forecast. 1992, we only had seven named storms the whole time. The average at that time was, was 12. The first one didn't occur until August. It's Hurricane Andrew. You have to be prepared either way.